So today on Project Shop, we're getting back on this little furnace that was uh, sent to me. And uh, today we're gonna try to melt some aluminum. And uh, I got some more chips here we collected from my uh, way wiper project over on the mill. So my goal is whenever I machine anything, I, I'm hoping to machine a lot of aluminum copper. We're gonna collect all the chips and we're gonna melt it. So today, we're gonna attempt to melt this. The first time we tried to melt something was copper, it was not successful. I think I just didn't leave it in there long enough. It looked like it was getting ready to melt. Um, but today, hopefully, we'll have no problem melting this. So we'll get this cooking. And in the meantime, Steve's cooking burgers. <laughs> They're ready? Sweet. We're gonna go to 15 PSI. Let it heat up for a minute. Time. Let's get that away from there. I think we're about ready. Let's crank this thing up. We're all the way and we're not even getting 30. How much fuel's in here? All right, we're gonna put the lid on. pretty good in there we're just gonna let that cook for a while I can I could see right down in there oh there's some good heat coming out of there too so we'll let that cook for a while and then uh, we'll come back and check it so I don't know if this is gonna show down in there but it already it shrunk down um, we only got about nine hundred in there. I don't think that's enough. <laughs> oh there's, there's like nothing left yeah I'm gonna have to I don't know if it's liquid yet I want to see what happened in there we're gonna shut this down I don't even know what the proper shutdown procedure is we're just gonna turn it down oh oh Getting some weirdness going on in there. Just gonna shut the gas off. Okay. Woo! Look at that. Still didn't melt it. I don't think we left it in there long enough. It's like, dude, it, it went from a full thing down to like an eighth. Stir it. Oh, dude, it's like, it's right there, man. 
Yeah, the bottom's about molted. So, yeah, we need a lot more. I need a way of uh, sprinkling this in there. Woo. Oh, it's catching fire. Yeah, it's got oil on it. So we need a big crucible if we're going to be melting chips or weigh. What we need to do is compact these down, make something on the 100 ton press to press these into a little cylinder. Like little, what do they call them, forgets? You know, when they press the wood into a, a yeah. thing? Yeah. A so we biscuit. need a biscuit. We, we need some biscuits, some aluminum biscuits. Yeah. It's gonna melt. It might take longer. That thing's still glowing. Wow. Yeah, we need to press this down, man. It's gonna take all day. Dude, that whole thing condensed down, and I packed that in there. Yeah, but it's not doing anything. What's it doing? It's melting? It might just be melting already. Yeah. I think because they're so small. General Metals buys tons of this shit, and they don't pay a lot of money for it. Yeah. It's dirty. Oh, they got the dumpsters full of this crap. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna load this up, get this fired back up, and then uh, we'll see where we're at. Okay, she's cooking off. Now, I put that thing over there on the side to uh, bake out any uh, moisture. Now, I've been rotating it. Now, I literally filled, had all of that put in there. It was literally melting as I was filling it up. And then I went and swept up over by the mill and brought over some more stuff. It was probably dirty uh, because I swept it off the floor and it had oil. Obviously, it had some oil in it. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a real problem. I'm thinking that'll just burn off. Woo! Okay, we're not melted yet. Let's see if our... Let's see if our temperature will show us anything. I can't get this thing to read any more than 923. So, but... It looks like, oh, we're on our way. We're gonna get a nice little chunk in there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there's some melted aluminum in there. All right, we're gonna set this right back up. Get this going back on and uh, just let it cook for another uh, 15 minutes or so or 10 minutes, whatever it's gonna take. Okay, this is where we're at. I don't think this tank has enough pressure or it's just old or something. Because we're only getting 25 on the, on the uh, PSI and we're just not melting. I tried to pour some uh, air in there and I don't think that's the key. So we're going to shut it down, take a look at it, and then if it ain't melted, we're going to swap over to this other tank we got here. Man, that's hot. But it ain't melting. 
it's like right there the bottom of it might be melting i don't know let's hit it with the gun see i don't think this gun goes above that rating or we're just not getting hot enough 925 degrees yeah so we're gonna swap tanks real quick and then uh, we'll see if that does anything okay we ain't gonna waste no time we're just gonna put this back on while it's still hot I think I'm messing with it too much too but I can't see down in there and we got a not so great gap like our thing is warping we might be losing heat so let's crank this up let me turn this down a little bit oh nope we're still only getting 25 on the regulator i think we're getting gas built back up in here let me check that nozzle our nozzle might not be spraying straight man this keeps moving around what? here's the problem with chinese shit man this thing just keeps rotating around freely i marked it so i know which way it needs to face but every time i touch this look look it just wants to go where it wants to go so I'm gonna have to loosen that nut, get this on there, and then retighten that nut. There's the problem, man. This thing doesn't want to move. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me man the end unscrewed off in there now what i think this thing is just hot garbage okay this is where we're at this piece the nozzle supposed to be in there there's no way of orientating it without like looking down in there that's a dumb design uh, because when i tighten this up any movement of that would basically just rotate it in there okay so we weren't getting a, a good stream down the tube and then when i went to adjust it it literally that piece got stuck in there so that's married to that we can't do nothing with that now um and then i went to tighten this back up and it literally just pulled the threads out just like that nut there when the uh cap the little cap that was on it just popped off okay so to fix this chinese brass we had to break out a chinese threading kit we used a uh a little uh feeler what do you call this a thread, thread a thread pitch finder we couldn't find the exact one we got one close uh we just cut the thread now because of the way the thing is we're gonna actually have to cut this down and then i'll re-thread it some more then we're just gonna teflon tape the crap out of it and send it Okay. now we're going to teflon tape the crap out of this and we're just going to lock it down on there and that's going to be it we get a torch go ahead and open that gas oh oh turn it off
coming my way. Here you can take out right there. Get it tight. Okay, uh, basically what we had to do is cut the end off. I heated up that rubber hose and slid it right over top of the thing. And um, so far, we ain't got no, uh, we ain't got no leaks. Um, I don't know how well that's going to hold the uh, 26 PSI, but... It took a lot for me to get that on. I did orient. The reason I got the vice grip on there is just so that it doesn't move. I got it in there straight. We do got a nice flame coming out of it. Uh, it says 15 to 40 minutes to melt. So I'm gonna give it the full 40 minutes. I'm gonna go do something else. I mean, I'm gonna be right over here. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, but, uh, and I'm gonna come over here and keep an eye on the temperature to make sure that this uh, rubber is not heating up. I don't know why that vice grip is that hot. That's interesting. Yeah, that's not hot at all. That's not hot. That's it starting to cook there. She's starting to cook. Now she's cooking. This thing maxes out, I guess, at around 920. It's either that's only able to read up to 920 or we're just only getting up to 920 degrees i don't know um but we're not we're just gonna let this thing ride it's wide open i think we're not getting uh we need five more psi is i think what we need we're not getting enough fuel and after 40 minutes if it doesn't i'm gonna put this fan back on there and see if directing a little bit more oxygen in there helps it at all. Um, other than that, this little thing might be destined for the press and uh, the scrapyard. I don't know. Uh, so far, I feel like it's done nothing but waste my time. But we'll see here in 40 minutes if we can get an ingot or not. Okay, so it's literally been uh, 40 minutes. If this hasn't melted in 40 minutes, uh, I'm just gonna have to call it man because I feel like we just been wasting time So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing off See where we're at Definitely got some heat coming off of there Yeah, man, look at that. I don't think either we melted and we got a lot of slag on the top or we ain't melting. Let me see. That's hot, man. Definitely, uh... Definitely got some dirty shit up in here. Let's just pull all this crap off the top. It almost feels hard. Oh. Wow, that's hot. Even with these gloves on, just putting my hand over top of that is freaking hot. Um, probably need something a little better than this spoon. All 
I don't know what the hell this is, man. I just don't think we're getting enough. I don't think we're getting enough fuel, man. It just ain't doing it, which is weird because it's glowing. I mean, it, it did something to it. Man, that's hot. Woo! Man, this glove ain't doing shit. I guess I need a bigger spoon. Okay, I'm almost gonna have to call this with this this thing because uh, let me just get all this crap out of here. This does look like dirty shit on the top. I mean, it's like uh, oh man, that glove is hot. I just don't see it mounting, man. I don't know. Maybe the bottom of that crucible is melted. I almost want to, uh... I'm gonna stick something down in there. Let's see what happens if I stick this down in there. Oh. Um, I mean, it, it, it kind of, it did something. It brought all that stuff down into, uh, I don't know. I just don't think we're getting enough gas. So 30 PSI. I wonder if I had to drill out that nozzle a little bigger. Let me get some better gloves on. Woo! I'm gonna get all the crap out of here. Okay. I mean, that looks like a big solid chunk of aluminum. Look at all this waste. Oh, that spoon's hot. So, I mean, it did kind of melt all that shit down. Um, let's put this glove back on. But the problem is, I don't see anything that's molten. Maybe the bottom is. I want to, like, push something down in there and probe it. I'm going to probe that handle down in there. I just, it feels like it's just solid, dense. Oh, it might be molten down in there. It feels hard though. I don't I, I just don't feel like we're getting molten aluminum. Um let me make sure this is centered. I tried to center this. Right? I just don't think we uh, we got enough power. Okay, here's where we're at. I put this back on there, but I I kind of got it going on an angle, and I created like a diversion, so only like the corner of it's catching. And then I put all this stuff here to block the wind from 
cooling this thing down and we're getting some serious heat i mean this thing is glowing on the outside now i didn't see it doing that earlier um let's check our temperature let's just check it right here real quick yeah we got it nice and cool down here by that rubber hose but man we're getting some serious temps on the outside and this right here I mean, it's glowing right there now. And I don't think we're gonna get much more than a than 900 something degrees out of this. Um, I can't see down in there. I'm gonna go ahead and um, pull this off real quick and see where we're at. Okay, maybe we did something. I mean, we definitely were a lot hotter. Woo, she's glowing. Wow. Oh, I see, I, I, I see something. I don't know, man. Oh, oh, shit. So Steve thinks because I'm trying to melt this extruded aluminum that we might not be able to melt it. But I don't know, it kind of melted down there in a glob. We were getting some serious heat in there. Man, that's hot. If not having 30 PSI on that regulator is messing us up. I don't, I don't see how we're going to get much hotter. I mean, I stepped up the, uh, stepped up the oxygen, and it was definitely hotter. But I don't see that we're actually melting this aluminum down. I don't know. definitely looks hotter underneath I wonder if it's actually molten in there man I want to take it out I just want a, uh, a brick man that thing is glowing but I don't see why it wouldn't melt this aluminum. Oh. I think we, uh... I think I'm gonna call it I just, I just don't see this. I don't see it melting, man. I mean, this thing wouldn't even melt aluminum. What do you think? What do you think we got going on here? That um, I did everything the book said. Back that up. There's so much heat radiating off of this. It's insane. Um, our thing is sticking through. It definitely got hotter that time. I mean, I was literally seeing this thing glow on the outside, but it just wouldn't melt that aluminum. I don't know, maybe it's molten underneath. I'm thinking that thing's gonna get stuck in there now. Okay. I went and found my other crucibles. That one's way too big for this, but this one kind of fits in there. Um, I, I preheated it. I've never used this one before, so I preheated it with the torch to get any moisture out of it. We got it in here. We got some uh, little aluminum pipe from some uh, uh, AC stuff. And then... I found these little chunks of cast. 
I want to throw in there just to see if it'll melt. This is a copper. There's all kinds of crap in here. Um, I'm just looking for chunks of aluminum at the moment. There we go. Now we got tons of aluminum over here. We could just crack up and send cast sheet. I'm going to throw these in there uh, on top just to see if it'll I mean it should melt. I don't see why we shouldn't get meltage. Now I'm going to run it without the forced induction at first. See what happens. And then uh, if nothing happens, I'm going to step it up a notch, put it back on the forced induction, and then uh, see where we're at. I think I I really do think we need a different regulator. said to run this at 15 at first but we're just going to go ahead and send it I'm pretty much over this thing at this point let me look down in here make sure we don't have any uh... that thing was burning funny earlier Okay, round two. I think we pretty much ruined this crucible if we can't, or we're just gonna have to uh, hold on to this until until we get something better. I just don't. I don't think we're coming up to temperature, man. It did melt all of that fine chips into a big glob but it never like I don't know man it just didn't puddle up oh this thing sounded funny check Okay, we got a puddle of aluminum down there. Now, uh, I'm going to, uh, we might have to break these up, Steve. I don't think I can fit it in there. Maybe just crack the top of them with a hammer yeah. like that. Like that. Oh, break like that. So we're gonna put some more cast in there. Those noodles melted right down. The cast looked like it was holding on, but as soon as I touched it, yeah, it, it pushed right down into that aluminum. Put my glove on to show you. So, we might actually be able to pour an ingot today. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that's a puddle of aluminum, dude. Sweet. Look at that. We are melting aluminum. And I don't have the, I don't even have the uh, thing hopped up. So there was definitely something to that, um, that extruded, whoo, fire. <laughs> this is like dirty cast. Oh, it seems like it's just kind of melting down in there already. Yeah, this is crappy aluminum. Ooh, that's hot. Alright. We're gonna uh I'm gonna let that melt down and then we'll gather up some more. I'm really shocked that I couldn't get this, uh, this aluminum to melt. That's some good stuff, man. All right, let's get this uh, set back up. 
gonna let this put right here. I'm gonna let it melt down now. Add some more. Okay, let's see if it'll. Woo! <laughs> Okay, that's a problem. I can see the flooding right there. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. There we go. That's much better. I, I got it full to the top now. Just leave it here. I'll, I'll let that melt down and we'll put it in. We're, uh... Woo! Okay. Alright. Well, maybe I won't have to put the towel auto in the uh, press and send it to the scrap yard. <laughs> uh, maybe it was just that aluminum over there is just too... I don't know. It's just too much. Still radiating some heat. I don't know how we're going to get that aluminum out of there. I don't want to bang on this thing, and I'm sure it's kind of formed in there. Um, I don't know, man. I might have to put this up on the mill and just drill it out, mill, mill it out of there somehow. I don't think I can clamp onto this. That's still pretty warm. Uh, we got a nice little blue flame coming off of here. And it looks like that stuff has already started uh, melting down. Oh yeah, look at that. We're gonna, we're gonna put some more in there. Okay, that stuff actually melted down pretty quick. So we're gonna let this stuff melt down I'm gonna get this rest of this in there, then we'll let it puddle up, and uh, we'll uh, heat up our crucible here. And uh, well, since that's going pretty quick, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Oh, I'm gonna do square ones. We'll let that thing get baking again. And, uh, man, we're going to pour some aluminum today. Oh, look at that flame come out of there. That was cool as shit. See how fast that, I mean, that was just a couple minutes. Not even. Oh, these things are too big. we got to break these. Oh, look at that. Bloop. <laughs> We're gonna have a nice, we, we're not gonna have enough uh, crucible, or uh, we're not gonna have enough molds. Uh, let me just see if I can't get that in there. Push it down into that molten aluminum. One more. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, last one, and then we're gonna let this completely burn. <laughs> That's kind of sketchy. I think you're supposed to light that fuel with the uh with the um lid off. much more exciting when you light the fuel with the lid on though <laughs> all right we're gonna let that cook uh, as soon as that's ready to melt man we're gonna pour an ingot all right look what we got here we finally got some molten aluminum now I'm gonna pull off this uh, crap off the top you can definitely feel that right. That's, that's funny how you can feel the difference in there.
All right, we're going to uh, pull that out. I don't know how much more. I think that's it. Yeah. All right, we got our mold is hot. Now I think we're ready to pour, dude. Got a lot in there. Okay. Look at that. First little ingot. Look how fast this stuff cooled, man. Yeah. I think I could remelt that. That doesn't no, even look that right. bad. That's Look at it already deforming. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's already hard. On the outside. Can you pull it out? Yeah, let me pull the hold that. Let's go to the We'll keep that. We'll probably refire this. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take to get that out of there. Being that that's straight up and down, I don't know how that's going to come out of there. I guess we're going to have to let it cool and it'll shrink. It's trying to come out. I don't think it moved. Alright, we'll let that cool off. What we got going on over here, because we actually got, we're able to melt a lot of aluminum. We're going to make a big ingot maker, okay? We got the eight pound ingot of copper that uh, Sculler Metals made for me and sent to me. Thank you for uh, that. So we're gonna kinda use that as a gauge um, to be around that size, but we're gonna have more of a taper on, on this mold. And we're gonna use our, attempt to use the plasma cutter. We have it on the 220 setting because we're gonna be cutting some thick stuff. And um, we're gonna make a little thing so we can melt more of that aluminum. Are you oh. recording? Uh, where's my safety glass? What do you think that is? Half inch? Huh? Half inch thick? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're up to, uh, we're cranked up to 50 amps. We're plugged into 220. And we're going to try to cut half inch steel with the plasma cutter. We're going to try to Oh! I don't think it likes it. No. I got some slag on the back side. We're, I think we're uh, at the limit of what this thing is capable of. Yeah. I don't like that slag back there. Here, let me see. Can we... Uh... There we go. I mean, it did cut it. Oh yeah, we're through it.
I'm actually impressed. <laughs> it didn't like it. Maybe, uh, what do you think, turn the air up or down? Up a little. Up a little to blow it out it's, a little harder? Damn close. I don't know. 57? <laughs> we might be having too much air, dude. You want to, uh... Hold on. Okay, let's see if, uh... Man, why don't you start up here and blow the corner out and come down? What, my way? No, like, like start, blow that out and oh, come okay. back and work exactly. it so you're blowing it out already. So you're not trying to penetrate half inch at once. Yeah, there you go. You got your ground? Yeah. I, I think, uh, Flag. I think you were good but i think what you need to do is get it straight hold on let me cut that slag out of there man i can't see you want a pair of sunglasses uh something i'm seeing dot yeah that's what i'm saying hold on yeah because you know when you're on an angle dude you're cutting more than a half inch yeah Nice. Yeah. All right, man. Half inch steel. Not bad for the little, the little Chinese plasma cutter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, we got one more. And then we gotta, we're gonna have to make our ends out of this drop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we need to cut. This is a drop, right? That's a drop. Okay. So you're going to need some ends. We're going to need some ends. How long do you want them? They're going to be this, this high. Pull out the steam oil? Yeah. this way with it. We're going to come up this way, right? Yeah, but you're going to have to cut that on an angle like this from that, like this, on an angle. Because these, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. these, Where, you got to lay it out, man. These, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's hot. You're going, to, <laughs> you're going to have to lay it out. I can't, I, I can't, I can visualize it, but. Right, so we just need to, one out, we need to check out. our angle here. Yeah. We don't, want, we don't want a 45, but what do we want? I don't know. Not a big I got an angle. Can we get the dimensions of a... Uh, the angle of a real ingot? Yeah. 
Okay, we're going to get some angles and then um, we'll figure this out. Then we're going to make a nice little mold. Let's go over here and check on our other mold. I'm going to put a glove on. Oh, nice. Steve, our first ingot. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. We got a little detent in the middle so next time we need to over pour it but it's our first ingot huh a gold bar is shaped like it is so you can have something to grip when you pick it up off the stack they're heavy so instead of being they would put them upside down the small end goes down? Yeah. No crap. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know how much more we got in here. We might fire this thing back up and pour another little one, or we'll just wait until he finishes that and pour a big boy. I think we want to pour a big boy. That still looks kind of molten in there. I'm going to uh, cut off the, leave the heat in there. Five? That's it? We're just gonna leave that heat in there. And then uh, we'll come back and melt that down. Hold on, man. Five degrees don't seem like much at all. Yep. That's five degrees, dude. Five. No. Okay. Degree drop angle. Okay. That's forty five. So if that's 45, right, we want to go 50. All right, well, there you have it. This is uh, the first pour on Project Shop, and uh, this is the first of many. I'm going to cut this video off here. We got a lot going on. We're in the middle of a huge scrap out, plus we're making ingot molds. And we got more stuff to uh, melt. This this video is already going to get a little long. Um, we've been through a lot to get to this point, uh, but we're here. And uh, let me know what you guys think about what happened over here with this thing, and if I'm ever going to be able to get this stuff out of here. I don't know what the deal is with this. Um, if I can't get this to melt and get it out of here. I'm going to somehow try and clamp this in the mill and, and hog all that aluminum back up out of there. Otherwise, this crucible is done. One, one, one uh, pour, or not even a pour, one, one melt, and it didn't even... I mean, that's solid aluminum down in there now. Or, or somewhat, I don't know. What do you think happened with there? Was there too much contaminants? Um, is that all slag on the top? I might chip away at that. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. This was much easier. This is, uh, you know, this is what I was expecting to happen. Now, I'm wondering if I can melt copper in here. 
Um, I don't know how much gas we got left. We, we went back and forth just to... I think it was... Steve was right, man. That aluminum was just not the right stuff. Because this stuff melted in minutes. Literally. I mean, we I could be... The stuff that will melt just fast as it hits that thing. What? Aluminum? Yeah. Dead soft version. Well, that first stuff we put in there, those little noodles, they melted right down. Yeah. Yeah, they were gone, man. So... Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I will be putting this on the milling machine. We are going to mill it into, uh, we're just going to square it up. And um, being that this is my first one, I'm probably going to keep this. I'll try to mill like a PSF into it. Um, I am looking for a desktop CNC. So uh, if you want to help me get that, um, you know, support the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about all this. Uh, let me know what you think about the forced induction. I, I think it worked, man. It, it actually got this thing so hot that the outside was glowing. Like it literally, it discolored it over here, you know, where that flame was coming in, which was kind of crazy. And all of this up here was glowing red, um, which I thought was pretty awesome. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think if I should make something else with this. I don't know. But we are going to be machining this, so uh, stay tuned for that video. I have to finish the wipers on the machine, but this is what we're after right here, man. This is, uh, this is going to be the start of a awesome journey in um, melting stuff down and making shit with it. I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. Okay, this is where we're at. So we cut this notch. That way we can set our plate just like that and not have any gaps on the inside. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna do the ends. <laughs> 